Okay, from the beginning, nurses' caps originated from a nun's habit. Florence Nightingale implemented the use of caps to give nurses a professional look and also to keep their hair out of their work. Originally, there were two styles. One was a long cap that covered the whole head, and the second was a short cap that was set on the top of the head. A nurse's cap is a symbol of nursing and was used to induct new nurses into hospital training. Okay, the West Virginia University at Parkersburg Associate Degree of Nursing has required caps all the way from the beginning up until 2005. If you look up here, you can see that the student nurses do not have caps. So, we're here with Mrs. Hawkins, an instructor at WUP, and she's going to tell us why her cap is so important to her and what it means to her. This is my cap, and actually in 1987 I graduated from this program, and this is me up here with my cap, with my stripes. And uh, the cap in the past has always been a symbolism of, I mean, it was a big thing to get your cap when you were in nursing school. I mean, you would have your little cap caddy and everything else. And I might also add that used to be in the hospitals, you had to wear your cap if you were a nurse. You know, when you were giving care, you had to wear caps. And, and white uniforms, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, some people, do I think it's necessary to make you a good nurse? Not necessarily. Actually, I worked at St. Joe, and at St. Joe we didn't have to wear our caps. So that's not why I went there. I went there because I got a job in OB. But, so I thought, I always thought it was kind of strange that St. Joe got away from wearing caps before Candy Clark did. But, uh, <laughs> You know, a lot of people would say that it was uh, it was a way to identify a nurse, you know, because your cleaning lady didn't mm -hmm. wear a cap. So. And sometimes it is hard nowadays, especially when trying right. to be. So if you would wear a cap in the hospital now, my goodness, it'd probably take you out to, to Jerry Psych <laughs> me to the Jerry Psych ward. But, um, you know, it, it it is it was a symbol, and you know, it was always a big thing when you had your capping ceremony. It was like. You've graduated, you have become, you know, maybe you're still a student, but you still um, are stepping closer to graduating. And then as you graduated, you got stripes in your caps. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, your first year you got one stripe, and then your second year you got the oh, okay. gold stripe. That's yeah. neat. Yeah, well, it was. It was something to look forward to. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. You're Hawkins. You're welcome. Thank you. Desperate for people. Throughout the years, caps have been phased out due to problems with bacteria, um, also more men in the nursing field. Um, scrubs are more of like the uniform for nursing nowadays. Um, also, we are not required to wear the caps here at WVP, but we do have a required uniform that we wear, white tennis shoes, white socks, um, no earring, or one set of earrings, um, your hair can't touch the collar. This is, um, ways that we do look professional for nursing school. Thanks for your time.